They've been hitting it hard under the astute direction of Jared Sesek. Please welcome the Garfield Jazz Band. Good <laughs> Thank you. That was a Benny Carter tune uh, called Vine Street Rumble. This is the Garfield Jazz Ensemble One. <laughs> on that last tune, you heard from Will Heath on the piano, <laughs> Kieran Jantz on tenor sax. <laughs> this next tune we're going to play is a Bill Holman arrangement uh, titled Dancing Nightly. 
It's going to feature the saxophone section as well as you'll hear again from Will Heath on the piano and Cornelia Goforth on trombone and Peter Strickland on tenor sax. And um, for this one, we're going to bring out our assistant director of jazz at Garfield, Mike Sunt. And I'm going to jump in the back row and hang out with the trumpets for a minute. So I hope you enjoy this one. This is Dancing Nightly.
That last tune was uh, originally, I think, arranged for the Maynard Ferguson big band. So I told Jasper, our lead trumpet player, I had no choice but to come have fun with him. He has it under control, but um, I, uh, in the spirit of building community in our schools and really, uh, but by the way, I want to introduce again Mike Sunt, who was uh, the director at Washington Middle School as well. So if you know that <laughs> program. <laughs> yes. Um, Mike and I are really actively trying to reestablish jazz education in the Central District between our pipeline, Washington Middle School, as well as Meany Middle School, which is a primary uh, feeder into Garfield. And we've had a lot of rezoning. And as if you're familiar with Seattle schools, you know things are kind of constantly changing with where kids go to school. And uh, we're really committed to um, ensuring that jazz education remains a staple of this, of this city and of our region. Um, and so I just wanted to m uh, mention that and, and, and make sure that Mike, uh, it, it, it becomes a familiar face as well as myself. If uh, you didn't catch my name, I'm Jared Sessink. I took over for Clarence Acox in 2019, but the pandemic kind of made it so that I didn't see anybody. So if I haven't seen you before, hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. We have one more tune. There's so much music tonight, so I'm gonna keep it uh, short and sweet. Uh, we have one more tune uh, that I want to introduce and, and have you here with the band. Uh, when we were invited by um, Bruce Ferez, who uh, is, is you'll hear later tonight, uh, when I worked with John and we were kind of talking about this show, uh, when I found out that Diane Schur, vocalist Diane Schur, was going to be here, uh, I thought about um, this person standing over there, which I've taught since sixth grade because I was the former director at Washington Middle School, so I know a lot of these kids more than I probably should. Um, and... Cornelia, um, we sang a, a version of the Diane Schur Count Basie Orchestra arrangement of Every Day I Have the Blues when she was in middle school. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to play the real deal. So we're going to perform for you the, the as recorded on the album version of Every Day I Have the Blues. And Cornelia has been studying the work of Deedles and uh, um, and we are going to end with that tune. We're also going to invite a uh, person on stage who is not in high school, but who is an awesome human being, and that's Kelly Klingen, who is the Director of Education for Jazz Ed. <laughs> so this is Every Day I Have the Blues. You're going to hear from Cornelia Goforth, obviously, on vocals, as well as Graham Cobden on alto sax and Isabella Summers on piano.
Cornelia, Cornel, Cornelia Goforth, Garfield Jazz Ensemble. Graham Cobden on alto saxophone. Izzy Summers on piano. Thank you so much.